All right, guys, I just want to do a follow-up video. I wanted to show you about the tax thing. So I realized that you should do taxes last because after you set up all of your other information, you go into the tax um, situation and you can see when you have your account settings. So I'll show you this, your and your address for your account. Wherever you set up your main address for that, this one, shipping from, Okay, so you're gonna set up your taxes. It's gonna automatically set up your taxes for whatever it's shipping from. So you click on United States and you can see that it automatically added Wyoming for me. It automatically is gonna add 4% tax, state tax for Wyoming because I'm physically located in Wyoming. It will not tax any other, it will not add taxes to any other state or any other location, only where you're physically located. And you can, I could add another location if I like manually wanted to. Like, let's say I lived in, in Wisconsin, right? Okay. And 53185. So now I live in Wisconsin, but my LLC is from Wyoming. I have to collect sales tax in both locations, okay? So that's very important legally from a tax standpoint. You have physical presences in two locations. You have your business LLC and you have your physical where you work from, where you're actually logging into the computer. Those are the two you have to collect sales tax from, all right? So you just tell, you just say wherever you are and wherever your business is located, you do this too. And then every other country or every other location, no taxes are required, okay? So just set up, set them up like this. And then the other thing I wanted to show you in this video is setting up custom domains. So we're gonna head over to online store right here on the sidebar. I'm gonna do a custom domain real quick. So right now we got the printed pleasures dot my Shopify, right? And we want to add printedpleasures.com. So you can do it through the Namecheap or GoDaddy, but it's actually really simple to do it here. Let's buy a new one. I recommend you just buy it through Shopify. It's probably the easiest, okay? Printed pleasures, and it looks like printedpleasures.com is available $14 a year so we're gonna go ahead and buy that and um, I think the domain pleasure is available for $14 a year we already added our credit card so what we're gonna do is just go ahead and click on buy a domain okay so now we bought that domain and it, it's gonna take like I don't know one hour or two hours to automatically update and be working on our, on our store so verify your email address. So, okay, so we gotta do that too. So I'll pause the video and I'll go do that real quick. So pause. All right guys, so I just verified my email and everything is good to go. It's gonna set up some forwarding email. So I just bought this domain and you can set up some forwarders. So if you wanted to have info at printer pleasure sales, you can add another one. So I want contact, right? Contact at printer pleasures. And I'm gonna forward that to my personal email. And then we're gonna add that one. And then I'm gonna do one more. Info, support, sales, and we're gonna do uh, support, right? Okay, so now we have four email addresses with the custom domain printedpleasures.com, and those are being forwarded to my email. And now we have, this is uh, printedpleasures.com, is connected. We are, it looks like it's gonna auto renew every year, no problem. So we can go back to domains. You can see that this one is gonna be automatically set up. So SSL not available yet. I think uh, it takes some time for that to work. Maybe uh, uh, maybe a, a, a couple, I think you gotta make a couple sales or something or wait like a week or two or I don't know. It, it, it does automatically give you an SSL, but just not um, right away. So let's go check out this, uh, make sure this works. So we're gonna go to go here and we're gonna go to printerspleasures.com, right? We just wanna make sure our custom domain works now and let's just check that out. Print of pleasures, you can't verify, do you want to continue? So it's saying that there's no, okay, so I know what happens here. So I, I did, because of the SSL, I just went to the with SSL version, but it doesn't exist yet. So we gotta, we gotta go to the website without. So you go there and you can see that the website is live and we have a custom domain now set up on side Shopify, which is perfect. Everything was super simple. We just follow those steps and no problem. All right, so let's, let's head back. Yeah, I'll pause the video and we're gonna go to the next one.